So, do you remember what happened last part? Um... Kind of. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> I remember. We killed a genie, and then we uh, somehow disappeared into nothingness, and then we came here. Into the altar of the crystal, again. God, what does this guy want? <laughs> anyway, this is Game of Glory, I have returned! DC, say hi. Hi. And we welcome you back to another part of Final Fantasy III. And we are right back on where we began. Because, seriously, this guy this guy called us back because he forgot to give us our fucking jobs. <laughs> I can't stay a freelancer for long. And I've never seen a run who I've never seen a run of all freelancer before, so... Uh, yeah, challenge run. <laughs> so anyway, exposition, exposition. Uh, didn't we already plot, plot, hear plot, this plot, guy? Plot, 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 plot. Yeah, didn't we already hear this guy from like two parts ago, or did we forget? That was for that was part one. Yeah. You oh know, we, man. You know, it was the no, it was the void talking to us. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. And now we get a very, very, very long cut uh, credit scene because why does it have to quote unquote end? No, it just begins, but it just takes a long time. So, yeah, all we get, and so I speed it up. <laughs> if you can no doubt tell from the Pingus logo right over there, you are you are speeding up, right, dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this takes around a good four minutes, and I'm not gonna have it like that. So, enjoy this, enjoy that Pingus face, and we're finally actually gonna go to plot. You must drive the darkness from this world and restore light to its rightful place. I almost said restore right to its lightful place. What the hell? Yada yada yada, last hope. You know, I've never seen a Final Fantasy where we get to be the evil guys. Hmm. You have a point. Yeah, we, we, we've always been the heroes. Well, we've been branded as the bad guys in 7. Yes. Okay, true, but that's like the closest thing we get to a villain, quote-unquote. Uh, we played as Laguna in 8. Laguna isn't really a villain. Well, anyway, uh, back to the game. We get finally got our jobs. Thank God, because honestly, this took so long. Why didn't this, Why didn't this guy give it to us earlier? Is something I wish to ask. Congratulations, Koopo. You can now change jobs. You can access job-specific abilities, yada, yada, yada. You won't auto... The okay, so... You can change jobs at your leisure. However, be careful, because... Um... In the, any, in the Famicom version, they had something known as Spiritual Capacity. Or SC, for short. They always had... It shows how much you need to level up your jobs, and also how much you need... In order to do a job adjustment phase. I fucking hate this. Um, changing jobs is something that you always have to do. And the job adjustment, you lose a ton of stats while you have to adjust. And that blows so much. However, the jobs are pretty awesome. I see, uh, yeah, I see a job adjustment phase. Yeah, job adjustment phase. While you're in job adjustment phase, your stats are lowered by around 40%. That's terrible. <laughs> it Wait, could... no tank? Huh? There's no... No tank? No, shut up. <laughs> I don't... You're not picking... You're not going with the tank? No, I'm not. Fuck Knight, alright? <laughs> okay, you get six jobs. You can go as a warrior. You can go as monk, black mage, white mage, red mage, and thief. Why the hell? I'm not gonna go knight. Usually I do go knight, but uh, I don't care because uh, monk gives a higher vitality bonus. And uh, in all honesty, if I want someone to tank, I have the red mage to do it. Look, don't, don't, don't judge. Red mage isn't a tank. Yes, the red mage is a tank. Fuck you. <laughs> well, at least the tankiest person. Because in this game, monk gets a lot of HP. Or at least a lot of HP growth, cause... Oh man. Cause Monk can do a lot of damage when your job level gets higher and higher. 
Plus, they're eight, they have one of the highest vitality growths in the game, which means you can reach 9,999 HP if you reach maximum vitality with this guy. Okay, so uh, you also get job-specific abilities, because not all jobs can cast magic. Um, Lunath gets Retaliate, which is basically counter. Whoever attacks him uh, basically gets uh, basically gets counterattacked. It's not a very good ability because you don't exactly know, you can't exactly direct who to hit, so it's not really that good. <laughs> um, so you already know what the black mage and white mage and the red mage can do. Uh, Ark is a black mage, uh, casts black magic. He can also wield bows, which is pretty, which is pretty awesome actually. Uh, white mage can wield staves. They don't really do anything except hang around the back row and suck their thumbs. And uh, red mage can do anything, but they're the they can do anything, but they're the master of none. Oh man! And this is gonna be my job setup for around uh, a third of uh, not a third, a uh, quarter equip, of the game. Equip the white mage, damn it! Equip what? Equip what? I don't have anything! All I have are stabs! Ugh. Yeah. White yeah. mages use stabs. Black mages use rods. Um, the it, other way around. It's, yeah, they use rods. Um, In this game, however, they can also use low-level bows. Which is actually pretty good. I love that. Um, The bows can give a bonus. Uh... Which be a bows can give a bonus depending on what bow you have, so be a little aware of that. Um, other than that, uh, I'm not I I'm not actually supposed to go here, but <laughs> um, actually I did not know this for the longest time. But when you enter Kazus before resolving the plot, Refia will actually leave your party for a while until you actually head out to the world map, because well, she's a f I guess she's guilty. Oh, what what it, was it that she says? She says that I don't. I really don't want to go in there, and she kind of backs out. But when you start to leave town, she rejoins your party. It's because of her huh. father. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't really showed off the enemies near Sasane Castle actually. So I am actually gonna do that right now. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna explain about jobs. Jobs, um, you have to level up. You have to level them up as well so you can increase your stats. Leveling up regularly in this game only increases your HP. Leveling up your jobs increases your stats, like your strength, your agility, your vitality. Have you ever seen a have you ever seen a freaking white mage punch the shit out of a shit out of a bee? Holy shit. <laughs> the power of auto battle, my friend. So, in order to, if you want like a really high vitality bonus, in order to get more HP when you level up, you have to level you have to level up higher vitality class jobs. And well, it's a bit of a pain because if you want people to specialize in other things, you have to level up certain jobs. Like for example, if you want like a high vitality person or high strength person, you can go for a monk. Or, uh, not a red mage, a knight, uh, later on you'll get warrior, later on, and also you'll get black belt. If you want high magic or high spirits, you can also level up, uh, ranger, uh, white mage, bard, etc. It's very high specialized, and you might have to do a bit of planning, but it's not the end of the world, cause, you, there is a very easy way, and, to level up your jobs. And it is actually by farming goblins, actually. Because how you level up jobs is basically just you tr you the number of actions you do. So basically, if you reach like five actions with the job, like defending, basically you level up your job. That's, that's pretty easy. Ugh, DC, say something. I've talked for almost a minute. Um, I'm still trying to understand what the hell's hap going on. Uh, remember when we killed the djinn? 
We yeah. still had to dispel the curse, so we had to throw it in the magical spring. And then we talked to everybody, and he gave us a magical canoe! I love canoes! Even though... I love how they say it's a magical floating, floating canoe, because... In the original, it just said a canoe. How are you supposed to carry a freaking canoe? Because Sid made it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he makes everything here. He makes the castle. Uh, yeah. He made my Magitek armor. <laughs> he made the crystal, too. God damn. What a genius. So, we really have nothing else to do, except you can access a scene um, when you visit uh, the Princess Sarah, actually. In the right, right tower. Oh, man. I still remember the... I still remember the graphical art that in this game. I remember uh, the art for Princess Sarah and the Jin. The Jin was fucking huge. Like he was about as big as the castle. And yeah, he was. And we like, took him down by kicking his shins. It follows Tails' logic. Like it, there can be a monster as big as a building, and then when you go into the actual fight, it shrinks into like the size of a house. <laughs> It's pretty funny, actually. So you can access a bit a bonus scene right here. Uh, you have to go up and talk to uh, Princess Sarah as Luneth. Not Luneth, uh, Ing Ingus. Pingus, sorry. <laughs> you know what they say, Sarah. The more, the merrier. <laughs> um... Back then, while I was trying to badly explain jobs, um, you probably saw that I was actually reading a letter from a mo from a Moogle. You remember that, right? Yeah. Um, that's a side quest. When you go past certain events, uh, if you're not playing the DS version, you will access some side quests uh, once you reach certain parts of the game. If you're playing the DS version, you have to access the Wi-Fi and trade letters with other people, which was horseshit. <laughs> and that was to access Onion Knight and the hardest dungeon in the game. Not the, not the hardest dungeon, the super boss. Oh man. It's also to unlock uh, the mystery blacksmith and the Ultima weapon, and yeah. So in other words, 3DS is a dead game. Uh, yeah, the DS, if you want everything, it's a dead game. So, play the PSP version, or better yet, the Steam version. Actually, the PS PSP version, because Auto Battle. I love I Auto Battle. A, I don't have PSP. Well, I, I'm playing this on an emulator, don't forget. Uh, so, yeah. Plus, the emulator has a speed-up feature, so I love you. Not you, TC, but... <laughs> okay, so, uh, now that we finished the plot in Sasane Castle, you can actually visit the blacksmith. Back in Kazus. Was that a hanging loading screen? What? <laughs> was that a hanging loading screen? There was like three seconds of nothingness. Oh man. The, there's loading screens in the PSP version, and they can be kind of long. So I have to cut some of them out. Some of them out. Oh man. Now let's resolve the issue with Sid, the fat fuck. Well, I can't call him a fat fuck. He's also a smart fuck, too. He's a smart fat fuck. <laughs> smart fat fuck. <laughs> He's a fat smart ass. Fat smart ass or a handsome fat smart ass. You or can a now... smart fat ass. Oh, <laughs> You can now access other spells. You can access fire. You can access sleep. Don't get sleep, please. Why? Uh, cause... Okay, so... The thing that they changed in this game is that some status effects don't are a lot. Some bosses are a lot more resistant to status effects. Um, I think I know that some enemies are weak. Some enemies are vulnerable to poison, but sleep never works, and so does blind. Cause fuck that. I tested it out because I've reached a farther part of the game at the at this point, like present time, and I have not reached that far. And blind never works, sleep never works, I'm pretty sure the other ones never work. Ugh. So, anyway, this place sells mithril equipment, which is honestly pretty good. It's the best starting equipment in the game. Yeah, it's in the best any starting. Game. Yeah, in any game. And, and in D&D, &D, it's really, really good. 
Ah, oh, man. So yeah, there's actually quite a lot of stuff to do. Um, in here you can get mithra armor. I recommend you actually stuff your... I recommend you stuff your uh, buddies right here with mithra equipment. Mithra gloves, mithra bracers. The bracers are for your mages. So yeah. So any more questions about the job system or are you better? Um, how is it different from 5? How's it different from five? Firstly, you can't change abilities on a whim. You have a gr you have a job adjustment phase, which is basically uh, you low you get have your stats lowered by forty percent, and you have to do battles in order to get rid of it. Um, the here's the also you can't like cross cross class abilities. You are stuck with one ability. Like uh, you can only use magic as a black mage or a white mage or a red mage. Or you can so all really you just you just change jobs rather yeah. than learning from each job. Mm -hmm. There's no point in changing jobs unless you really want to level up your HP to level to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and it's so sickening because there are differentiating differentiating uh, job changes too. Like you can't easily the job adjustment phase is a lot more longer. If you decide to change from a monk to a black mage compared to a monk to a knight, because it changes from like two to four, and jobs later on go up to like sixteen at max, which is incredibly. Ugh. I'm I, I'm stuttering just from the thought of it. <laughs> uh, the fifth. Um, let me think. Uh. You get jobs later on compared to 5, and they're not, in my opinion, 5's jobs are actually a lot more useful because you can cross-class and create combinations. And here, not so much. Which kind of bums me out. Any more questions, Mr. DC? Um, is Taka going to bring up the new clothing that her daughter's wearing? <laughs> how is she, how is she blacksmithing with a white mage's robe? And how is she keeping that clean too? I mean, blacksmithing is a dirty job. Don't you know? Oh man, this <laughs> sometimes this world confuses me. Okay, so yeah, we have looks like we have a mithril ram. We have to leave without Refia, which kind of bums me out actually. Also, there I haven't known this for the longest time, but there is actually an area right over here where you can find hidden items. There's nothing really of value here, actually. It just there's yeah, there's really nothing of value other than a few sparkles. See, Mithril Helm, nothing really, honestly, nothing really that useful. Hey, um, it's Mithril. Yeah, it's Mithril. In the Famicom version, there are actually a lot more items. Like, uh, the, uh, other than a Mithril Helm, there's like three potions and a Phoenix Down there too. I should mention that Phoenix Downs are rare. You can't buy them in stores anywhere. Well, to be fair, there is only one Phoenix Down for the FC. Uh, never, never forget. <laughs> oh, Refia snuck on board. Thank you. Uh, we we really need our White Mage, and nobody fucks with a White Mage. Anyway, uh, there is a bit of a plot point. They're discussing that they don't have parents. So the four orphans. So, the, Jesus Christ! So that so <laughs> Some, something the they can talk about so in the campfire. So the original Final Fantasy three is four orphans at once. Now it's four orphans that come together. Yes, it, they can discuss this in a campfire. God damn it! <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> Uh, sometimes these thinking patterns confuse me. Okay. Again, it's like I said, it 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 suffers the problem of trying to put in character building in a game that previously didn't give a shit about it. Yeah, uh, it's I'll give them points for trying, but <laughs> it comes off too late and too it comes off too late. It's not even strong. Yeah. Okay. So let's just go to the next part. Well, it it's like I said, like even in the part one, who are these characters? Oh, what? didn't you know? You're. Oh, don't you know this is uh the best friend of this character or this character who grew up with uh this character? 
Oh, also. <laughs> oh, it's, also, it's trying to put in character too. development in a game that you didn't give a shit about it previously. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you raise a good point. All right, let's end this part and go to the next one. This Gamer of Glory, DC, DC, want to say your goodbyes? Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you'll stick around. All right, see you guys later for part four of Final Fantasy III. Adios. <laughs>